Joined in studio now by Dr. Chomba Chuma, chairperson of the Kenyan diaspora in South Africa. Good morning and welcome to AM News. As a Kenyan, how do you feel about these developments in your country? Uh, to start with, it's, it's very sad. I mm -hmm. think uh, we've had one of the most atrocious attacks on our country since 1998. You remember mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the U.S. embassy attack? And I think every Kenyan uh, in diaspora, not just in South Africa, is saddened by what has happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, could the situation have been avoided, you think, with tighter security measures? Look, um, thinking about what has happened and in areas where it has happened, we're talking about a mall here. I mm. mean, in, in South Africa, we've got malls everywhere. Mm. And, and we've got mall security, which is meant for civilians. Um, the attack that followed in Westgate in Kenya, if you think about it, is more of a, of a national security issue. And I think the security that was there for the mall was probably sufficient for what, has, uh, for, for what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Yes. But for this kind of attack, it was con completely unprecedented. And therefore, I think there's not much more security that you can offer in that kind of a situation. Uh, have you been impressed with the government's response to this crisis? The government has been outstanding. Uh, if you think about it, we had the first responders who got there in, in good time. Mm. And from what I understand is that the police went there as a, as a, to follow up on a robbery, which mm. unfortunately turned out to be something different. Yeah. And I think were it not for that first response that took place in the first um, few minutes and maybe put up to the first one hour, it could have been a completely different situation. They've rescued more than a thousand people, which is quite uh, a good number. And even though we've had fatalities, I think the response that the government has put together has been absolutely outstanding. Now we've seen a united front by Kenyan politicians yeah. on this. Yeah. It, it's been remarkable and I think uh, this kind of, uh, of a situation brings the country together. Mm. Uh, the politicians uh, and everyone, not just the politicians, we're talking about the clergy, we're talking about leaders in every, every uh, aspect of, of the community. And I mean, you've seen it on TV as well. We've got Kenyans lining up to offer and, di and, and donate blood, which, which has been quite remarkable from every, every Kenyan's uh, perspective. Mm. Yeah. Now, the group who's taken responsibility for it, uh, Al-Shabaab, um, they said it was in retaliation for Kenya's troops being deployed in Somalia. Is Kenya's involvement in Somalia really justified? It's, it's, a, it's a very volatile situation and I think every, uh, every government would, would concede to the fact that you have to protect any country or you have to stabilize every country around your borders. Mm. Uh, what has happened in Kenya is not unique to Kenya. Somalia the, the forces that are in Somalia are from African Union. Mm. Uh, and I think a lot of um, African countries have contributed to this. Mm. So saying that uh, it's something that uh, government could have handled differently, I don't think so. I think what they've done in terms of um, getting the troops to Somalia is to stabilize the government to avoid these kind of future attacks. And I think it's, it's uh, justifiable by every government to make sure that it protects its borders. Mm. In your opinion, is the international community playing a positive role in this whole saga? So far we've seen very good response, especially mm. from uh, the Western countries as well as uh, every other country has given its condolences. I think it's mm. been a, a remarkable uh, effort by every country. However, I think if you think about how the African countries and especially the Kenyan neighbors have condemned the attack and have strengthened their resolve mm. to keep their troops in Somalia to stabilize the country, I think that has been the most remarkable. And I think going forward, um, I would hope that uh, the government around Somalia and the government around East Africa will put more effort in making sure that Somalia is stable because unless that happens, unfortunately, we could have this uh, happening every now and then. Dr. Chumba Chuma. Thank you so much for joining us at AM News and thank you very much for your time on this Heritage Day and happy Heritage Day thank you to very much. you.